Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Michael Schwann. Today is Tuesday, June 6, 2023. And while the rest of the world is playing Diablo 4, we're going to play something as far away from that as we possibly can. Uh, so we're going to be playing Eden Gate, The Edge of Life. I expect to start and finish this today uh, because the game is wildly short. Uh, looking at what sources I can, it looks like it's only about two hours long. So we should, without much issue start and finish this today uh we do still intend on playing after us i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest i just didn't have the energy for it today and i was looking through like what games i did want to stream and this was one of them and so we're gonna just play this one for now uh and we have more stuff in the pipeline we got final fantasy 16 at the end of the month we're going to be doing some final fantasy 14 stuff in the near future we're going to be starting up the swan dive soon the drum stream soon so Got a lot of stuff going on, uh, but first let's go ahead and get started with some stream raiders. Uh, Elemental 2 is over, but we do have a whole chapter to play through while we wait for the next event. The next event might be a little ways out because they're working on the gamma versus beta test right now. So we'll see. I'm very curious to see how this goes because we haven't had versus around in over a year. Uh, so hopefully this launches successfully and that will be something to look forward to. Maybe we can see a resurgence from this for Stream Raiders as they as we'll be able to host community tournaments that are actually organized locally since you'll be able to set up your own battles with one another, which is really, really cool. But that's not something that we're talking about right now. We're going to follow this bottom trail. There is a gold chest up here, but you can get large piles of gold out of loyalty token chests. Uh, and there is a scroll and a skin chest here. So we'll hit this bottom trail up for the time being. And go ahead and get this started. All right. They don't have any protection. I need to get assists from tanking. Uh, I'm going to place down a centurion. Bloop. All right, place units, everybody. And I don't know what to expect with this game, so bear with me. I'm I'm gonna guess that we can use a controller. Oh, there we go. It's not a super battle anymore. I'm gonna guess that we can utilize a controller on this, uh, and hopefully be able to get it into full screen when we get into it as well. We'll find out. Maybe. It's running at 120 FPS right now? Why? I have my monitor set to one to, to 60 FPS. So I don't know why this would be running at 120. This game uses an autosave feature. Excellent. Hello? Okay, well, F11 worked to maximize it. I didn't hit new game. Not intentionally. RFPS is all over the place. This bodes well. I'm going to alt F4 it and see what happens. <laughs> Let's try again. Maybe I shouldn't use a controller. Let's see what happens if we try again. Can't skip this one. Options. All right. 1920. That's 1440. Uh oh. Uh oh. Interesting. My options are full screen or no. <laughs> but that, like, full screen messes with everything else. Okay, so can I do this, though? No, I cannot. That breaks things too.
Okay, that worked. You're st you're still not technically full screen, but you're here. I don't know what SS Okay, VSync on. I don't know what SSGI is, but we'll turn it on. And uh let me get my task manager up because with as indie as this game is, it might end up like demolishing our GPU. <laughs> but we'll wait and see. <laughs> see what happens. Uh, put this uh, over here. Yeah, over here seems good. <laughs> okay. Controls. Subtitles are on. Alright. Back. Saving. Maybe. This isn't installed on an SSD. I'm a bit concerned that it's taking this long to load. What is it doing? There it goes. Is that a blood tree? You hope that was water. Don't do that. ML. We're going to call you Melody for now, okay? Good job. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Your name is Mia Lawrenson. Okay. Oh, okay. Up here. Okay, that was a pretty smooth transition. How much stuff could we interact with? Somebody ate recently. It wasn't us. Ooh. Gotta be careful of that camera sensitivity. Uh, we're not hooked up to this anymore. There's no way that this is reading our vitals. Uh, hello? Oh, Chug! Oh, it was saving. Okay. Well, it's not maxing out the computer. It's just a, a little, a little indie. Okay, we can jog. Is anybody there? I just woke up and. What room were we in? Just intensive therapy. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. Options. Effects.
I was wondering if that was motion blur. Because there's a, a decent amount of it. Okay, so it makes it really obvious from really far away the stuff that we can interact with. So I don't have to keep on checking stuff as much as I have been. Hmm. Hey, Julia, how's it going? Do I need to remember those? Where's the cure? Where's the cure? I feel like those numbers might be important. Just ate dinner? What'd you eat? I like food. You know... <laughs> Because I'm paranoid as shit, let me take a picture of this front of the page here. And, uh... Oh, wait. What the fuck? Oh, my phone is still set on a timer for... Delay of when you take... When it actually snaps the photo. I'm gonna snap a photo of this page, just in case. I don't know how in-depth things are gonna get. Hello, small ghost child. You know, visually, this actually looks pretty good. Where is everybody? Are you sure you want the answer to that question? Here's a better question. How do you get behind this counter? Does the staff just jump up on it and swing their legs over? Oh, a ghost stretcher. That's excellent. I'm so happy for us. I love ghost stretchers. Hmm. Had some leftover pork roast, so I made open faced pork roast sandwiches with mashed potatoes and pepper jack cheese. That sounds amazing. Mia, don't touch that. Sorry, Mia, but you should have known better. Pushing yourself too hard, not listening to anyone. If you hadn't acted like you were smarter than everyone else. Clear the way, come on. Uh, what was that? What happened here? Why did that door open? So what's over this way? A toilet. What's with the biohazard tent? Hmm. An emergency light is on, but no alarm. Um, hello? Somebody got an x-ray of their hand. No, there's nothing back here. More than weird. It's art, I guess. It doesn't make me feel any better. Yeah, I agree, Mia. More biohazard tents. And a biohazard hallway. Vending machine. Vending machine. Elevator. I don't think I can eat right now. Well, you might. You maybe should try. Not that I don't think you have any money anyway. Mm, 
elevators are creepy. Why did you hit basement? Of all things. Oh, am I supposed to hold it? Nope. Okay. Uh, 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 maybe, maybe I am. I am. Okay. Chunky frames. You'd think there'd be healthier options. Uh, yeah, well, the hospital doesn't always get to choose what's in the vending machine. Another memory. At least I think these are supposed to be memories. Mirror's that sure does look different from what I remember. I know, right? Crazy. Nothing more to say to you, Mia. Oh, you're not listening to me. I figured it out. Mia, right now, this discussion is over. Well, you think it's my fault? It is your fault. Okay. Whole bunch of AB positive blood and a kid with some sort of psychic powers. I see that little direction arrow there. I'm gonna just do one more scan around the room. We either have doors that we can't interact with or that are blocked by the smallest bit of refuse. Okay. Oh man, that's how you know it's a new game, squeezing. is not doing so great. Hey, a phone. Mia, grab that. See if it's locked. Oh, well, here's a phone. It's Liam. Liam, I understand that people are scared. Honestly, they're right to be. I don't want panic in the streets any more than you do, but at some point we need to tell the truth. Otherwise, the damage... Flip? <laughs> okay. Oh, this was somebody messaging Liam, and they didn't finish the text message of otherwise the damage. Eden LTE, cute. This phone, what kind of phone is this? It doesn't have, it does, it's not able to take pictures. It doesn't have a camera on it. Stay reliable, thank you for the lurk. George, date of publication is on the other side of a book. Date of publication. Hmm. Okay. We're not going to be able to open this. There's a book. I don't know how she knew to grab this book. There we go. 1978. What is this book? <sighs> oh, George. Okay, I see. That's how she knew it was this book. Patient psychology, a Jungian approach. What are the archetypes of patient experience? Dr. Sebastian George provides a foundation for thinking about personal medical narratives as journeys through the liminal space between the dead and the living. Drawing on modern psychology as well as global spiritual traditions and suffused with insight, humor, and wisdom, this book is an invaluable guide to any medical professional who may find themselves at the crossroads. 1978. All right. Hello, small child. Wait. Come back. Do you want that to come back, Mia? Like genuinely asking. Mia. Is that, you want that to come back? 
You want the weird spiritual ghost baby to come back? What's wrong with you? Man, this whole place is wrecked. The whole place. Not just some of it. The whole thing. The Decameron by Giovanni Boccaccio. Or Bo Boccaccio? Boccaccio. I'm going to go with Boccaccio. Anyway. A testament to the power of stories to keep us going through difficult times. The Decameron begins with seven young women and three young men taking shelter in a secluded villa as the Black Death sweeps Florence in the 14th century. To pass time, they take turns telling each other stories. One story each for ten days straight. The resulting 100 stories range freely from tragic to comic, from high-minded virtue to lowbrow desire, from profound to playful. Regarded as one of the great classics of Italian literature and cherished around the world, the Decameron paints a picture of an urban and sophisticated medieval life that modern readers will find surprisingly familiar. I wonder if that's any good. Take it with you. It doesn't look like whoever it belongs, belongs to is going to be here to miss it. All right, ghost laptop, what you got? Mia, if this is another crackpot theory... Listen to me, please. How can something be alive and not alive at the same time? It's not alive. The science is clear. Schrodinger. It is life, though. It's a part of life. Stick with me. I promise it makes sense. I'm sorry. But do you realize how you sound right now? A part of life? What was I talking about? I don't know. You don't have any concern that the shit was glowing with, like, ghost energy? You don't ask enough questions, Mia. Squeeze. The Messenger, Dr. Liam Bressman, Vestalab's research head battles new research head battles new pathogens and his critics. Six myths about human research subjects. Perseverance and compassion in dark times. How to harness the power of imagination. Escape anytime. Call your Continental Travel Agent to find exclusive bookings and rates. Continental Travel Agency. Of course. Of course. You apparently remember him, but you don't remember what you were talking about. Okay. That's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ew. That's probably sprinkler water. Huh. Okay. Let's go see what the creepy ass balloon says. The super creepy fucking balloon says, we'll miss you. Nobody would blame you for wanting to leave. I think about it all the time. Take care. Somebody was retiring or quit, transferred, left. It's a lovely hallway. Very friendly, you know? Research lab. It might even be yours. I'll try my badge here. Okay. You had access. Lab samples. Wait. I remember the tests. That is a lot of blood. Like that is that is an absurd amount of blood. Whose blood is this, Mia? Locked.
We'll go to the ghost scope in just a moment. Hey, bros. Think you can guess this week's passwords? It's elementary. B, br bros? B-R-O-S? Bro, bros? Oh. It's just a midnight snack's worth. Yeah, you know. If you only snack, if you're a vampire and only snack every hundred years or so. You're listening to me. The whole time I've been on this project, you haven't been listening. Mia, calm down. This isn't a... Don't tell me to calm down. You know the risks we're taking. That's exactly why you need to be reasonable about this. Then you know listen to me. If I'm right, we don't have much time. B R O S. Let's see here. B R is thirty five. B R second column from the right. Yep. Bonnie. Where's O S at? Seventy six. So thirty five. 76. In the middle. Osmium. 3576. I like that I attempted leet speak first. 3576. Uh, scientists. Mia, I'm pretty sure you're a scientist. Calm the hell down. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't worry, Mia. We'll get through this. <laughs> now I'm talking to myself. Great. Is that bad? I do it all the time. Why are we going down? We were already at the basement level, weren't we? Where's this going? Really fucking far down is the answer. Jesus. Feel better. Sorry I haven't visited. It's been really busy at work. Hopefully things will calm down soon. I can get away from the office for a bit. I'm sure you're doing great, Chris. <laughs> ghost child! Come here, ghost child! No! Come back. Wait, where? You didn't even turn. Oh, well, that's good. If this was any other type of game, I would have turned around and there would have been a horrible monster right here. Uh, oh. Okay, that scared me. And now there's a horrible monster. Wait, what's wrong, Eve? It's the Among Us spacesuits. N no. <laughs> You're funny, though. So, did we enter or exit? Yeah, more like backroom spacesuits. Did we enter or exit a clean space? I feel like the fact that there's locker rooms on this side make me think that we left a clean, a clean space. Leave me alone. <laughs> nice. That's a pretty good coffee cup. Popo. <laughs> Keep up the great work. I'll see you soon. Whoa. Part of the part of the picture on this side is transparent. The top right corner of this pic you can see through part of this picture, but not on the back side. Like look at Mia's right shoulder. Whoop. <laughs> Fucking magic picture? The hell?
Slow Cook While You Work, Easy, Healthy, Delicious by Sonia Shimkoff. Don't let living independently hold you back at the dinner table. With a slow cooker and these simple recipes, you can enjoy mouth-watering one-pot meals that are ready and waiting for you as soon as you get home. Maybe I could use that. Yeah, you didn't even remember your name as you got up. Calm down. Why the creepy music? We're sorry, though it pains us to do this after so much preparation, Liam and Natalie's marriage must be postponed until further notice. You'll be the first to know when we have a new date. Stay safe, Ellen in. Oh, okay. The way that this read, this read like the parents of the families being like, oh man, sorry, we didn't get the paperwork done in time. So... The marriage is postponed for the time being. That read like not as though it was the bride and groom announcing the delay. That read, my mic arm is having problems. It just slumps after a while. That read not like it was the the bride and groom. Instead, it read like it was the uh, like the organizers. I mean, I guess it technically was the organizers, but. Whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right, Halt and Redux. It's just me and you. M me and Rorschach. Let's go. Good luck to us. My arms also slump after a while of holding something fair. This mic is just supposed to be like a good one, though. Oh god, stop getting shot. I don't think I can kill them all. Just saying. I don't think I can. I'm gonna try, but I don't think I can. I'm trying my best. There's just so many of them. They're beating me up. Make them stop. I heal a little bit every time I kill one, but I don't think it's going to be enough. There's too many. Get off me. <laughs> Do it, little horsey man. He's trying so hard. Oh. Good effort. Good effort. Get five assists from tanking. Hey, did it. Get assists for myself. Mm. Oh, I have no quests. I am a questless individual. Everyone's too busy playing uh, Diablo. They're like, what's Stream Raiders? I'm not even going to play some Stream Raiders. I'm going to play Diablo. Cleston Skull Collection Cards. Oi, you calling me out? No. You quit placing in Stream Raiders like a year and a half ago. Why would I call you out of all people? I'm sure this is fine. Why do I feel like that should have opened that door and instead it unlocked the computer? Frames chug down because the game is saving. 
Not because it's overwhelming my computer in any way. Ju just because it was saving. Yeah? You couldn't move, like, the garbage can that was in your way from one of the other doors? You couldn't move, like, the stretcher that was in your way of one of the other doors? You couldn't move this cart and just step over the table? Problem solving skills, Mia. Time to see the little boy again? Not yet, huh? Squeeze. This is unbelievable. Hey, we made it down here. We were up there before. Or was it up there? No, it definitely wasn't up there. It was over on that one. Hey, ghost screen. Look at this. This is worse than I thought. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Yes, uh, we're from Vesta Labs. No, just her. We have an office inside. We do some work on site. You're lucky they're even letting us in right now. This place is a disaster. The whole city's going to be a disaster. Don't catastrophize. I'm being realistic. Okay. Anxious times in Edengate. What the heck is going on? Will she find out? Will she escape? The mystery unfolds. Is that us? True enough, I'm about to boot up Diablo though. After I've gotten some food, I need to go and make me some. Thinking about either diced chicken filet or just large filet. Not sure what I want. Diced chicken filet sounds like more work, but it sounds tastier to me right now. If I had to choose between the two. The 31 FPS is not for hardware reasons. Bad brain day. Find the pin in chapter one. Oh, good job, me, I, I guess. them frames man finally oh, come on. you say finally but judging by the state of things I don't know if outside's gonna be in a whole lot better shape oh no how could this happen what are we looking at Like, you say, oh no, but I still don't understand what's going on or what happened. Wait, where am I supposed to go? So everyone's gone to Rapture or something? I missed the start of the game. We don't know, okay? Because, like, we woke up in a hospital bed, and for a second, Mia didn't know her name. 
we found our badge. We're a doctor of some sort. And our name is Mia Lawrenson. And we were studying a virus or something. We don't know still. And there's like a... We saw... We keep on seeing images of this kid who clearly had like... Some sort of psychic powers or something like that. And we keep on seeing like ghost memories and stuff around. But Mia doesn't seem to know where everyone went either. Worst scientist ever. <laughs> Where's the cure? It's your fault. This is not life. Okay. Worst scientist ever. What does this one say? It also says, Where's the cure? Okay. This is a disaster. What does this one say? We don't need them. What's taking so long? Somebody was researching something. Uh, I need to go around. I'm just looking to see what else is around in general, Mia. So we could go that way, but I'm not going to yet. Oh boy, this game runs well. Rocking a whole 32 FPS outside. Is this locked? Yeah. Locked. Good thing they're still keeping people out of the park. Yeah. Good thing. Good thing they're keeping all of these people out, Mia. Also, why does it matter if they keep people out of this park? The Edge of Life, coming soon to theaters everywhere. Julia Floors, Andrew Turner, Lisa Romero. Can I unlock it from this side? This isn't a game that we're going to go back in for any reason that I can discern. That's a really cool statue. I love that. I have a right to be concerned, Mia. I said it's a personal decision. That's exactly the problem. We're dealing with something unknown. It's risky enough for you as it is. Well, I accept the risk. I need to find the answer, otherwise... <laughs> Don't take this all on yourself, Mia. Mia, wait. I have work to do. <sighs> so that's Liam's dad in some way. Tesserae, in memory of Albert Q. Bresman, 1921 to 2004, founder of Edengate Institute of Technology. Which I'm guessing is that building that we came out of. You know, outside of like the frame it, frame rate issues, a lot about this game for being like super duper indie, it looks really good. Like they got a really good atmosphere that feels like it has a cohesive art direction going on. It's not the easiest thing to achieve. I pull this out of the way? Yes. So we still have absolutely zero idea where anyone is. Woo! Whopping 23 FPS there. We're not maxed out on resources. Still got plenty of headroom on the CPU, RAM, and the GPU, but... I think it's just because there's so many assets. Because we're outside. But the game's like... 
Hmm. Eden in Eden Gate, luxury and style. Mm, I could never live in a place like that. No, oh, good thing I don't think you're ever going to. Vesta, huh? Vesta Labs is the people that they said we work for. Or worked for. Given the state of things, I don't think, uh, you know, Vesta Labs still exists unless they're pulling an umbrella of some sort. Oh, yes. Climb and go through the bus. The bus that crashed into this building for some reason. It's a very bus looking bus. Convenience store. I don't know if I should expect to see any like scary no nos or what. Turn zombie dog. Oh well, that answers that question. There's a horrible scary no no. Hey y'all, you want some biscuits? Some ABC biscuits? Or how about just some fizz? How about some chips potato? Uh, even if the motion blur is slightly nauseating, I agree. I looked in the options and I didn't, like, it might be under effects. Oh, God, it made the game run worse? How? Steel rising all over again. Oh, no. This was on medium. Let me see what changing that to medium does. Like, it was on medium when we started. Well, it didn't do anything either. I don't know what SSGI is. Does anyone else know what SSGI stands for? Because I fucking don't. SSGI. Not a single clue. Super sample. Screen space global illumination. Okay. But I sometimes think you're lucky. You have so much freedom. I'm finally back on track, but when I had the baby, it was like my career got hit by a bus. Just plowed right through it. Anyway, thanks for coming with me. I needed a break. Athlete, you're... you were Liam's wife, right? Or, uh, fiancé. Good thing the security's on. Is it? Is that us? It is. We get a lot of lab workers from next door. They tend to buy healthy snacks, protein bar, natural energy drinks. There's one who comes in late at night. She's always hungry, like she hasn't eaten all day, and this has this haunted look. I never have the nerve to strike up a conversation with her, even though I want to. I can only wonder what she ba what battles she's fighting. Yeah, I wonder too, because we don't have any idea. Oh, that's good. IRQL not less or equal. Quick, Google BSOD IRQL not less or equal. Find out what we did wrong. Ah, here's my entrance. Feature that aims to create natural looking lighting by adding d dynamic indirect lighting to objects within the screen view. SSGI also makes it possible to have dynamic lighting from emissive surfaces such as neon lights or, there goes my microphone, or other bright surfaces. Okay. Well, until it deloads some of the city, we're 
probably just going to be dealing with fluctuating between 23 and 43 FPS. You ready to get sprayed again, Mia? Ugh, hmm, this one doesn't look like it's online. Huh. Is this a map? Yes. What the hell is this? Better make sure. Enough. Nope. <laughs> I just got an achievement. Can't be too careful. <laughs> Ooh, a chocolate bar. Thank you for keeping us safe during this unprecedented time. I understand the hours have been long and difficult. Needless to say, you are a critical part of this lab. Please accept this token for our appreciation, Dr. Bresman. <sighs> Nothing like the higher ups giving you a chocolate bar as a thank you for putting in overtime. Woo! You know that's when you got a good company supporting you. I don't know if this map is going to be necessary or useful, so I'm just going to believe that it's not and move on. Okay, we, we moved far away from the city. Deload it and get... Thanks. Yeah, OBS was taking big, massive dumpies. Of course, OBS has an update right now that I don't want to to do. They always seem to do this lately. It did deload the city, though. We got our frames back. We're at sixty now. What do these mean? That doesn't seem very safe. <laughs> Thanks, me. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, damn. Updates, those break things. I know, which is why I was like, I don't wanna update shit, dog. I don't know why I'm walking close to these. Like one of them would be interactable. Shit shit is lit up from a mile away if you can interact with it. Another week over, and I'm so many, and I am so many days nearer health and spring. Wuthering Heights, Emily nearer Braun. Health and spring. I hope Can't so. open that door. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh God! What are these controls? Hey. 
Yeah. Fucking real world drive bullshit. You are here. That's great. All right. I'm glad you know where we're going, Mia, because I don't. I'm just along for the ride. Not anymore. Checklist, consent forms, IRB amendment, medical histories to Liam, new documentation protocol, update researchers, especially Mia. All systems go. Natalie, always so organized. Yeah, but now where do we go? Okay. I'm glad that I could squeeze past there. Can't go in there. All right. Hello. Excuse me? Nope. Nope. Oh, what is this? Seems like a terrible idea. Why the fuck are you doing this? Oh, it's one of those games. He was like, I didn't know you were getting banned today, Schwan. Damn. You, you were talking about how you're not quitting streaming. Your new plan instead was just to get banned. Guys, I didn't quit streaming. I got banned, okay? Clearly not the same. <laughs> oh, there has to be a way past. <laughs> Found that. Found that big brain loophole. See, if you get banned, then you can't ever be tempted to come back. Stay too late. I won't. I just feel like I'm on the verge of cracking this. Uh, don't forget the lights turn off automatically. I know. I have a backup. Promise me you'll at least go home to sleep. Yep. Sure I will. Yeah, totally. Especially with the new rules for not simulcasting. What did they change fucking now? Just a bright light. Okay. Is Twitch gonna be all angry at me about rebroadcasting the freaking uh, Summer Games show on ter Thursday? Now nobody is allowed to simulcast anywhere except to TikTok. Doesn't matter if you're not an affiliate or partner, just not allowed. Oh. But they'll allow TikTok? Why? So you can't tick, you can't stream. Did, did they get mad at Ninja? They're like, man, Ninja, that's bullshit. You can't stream to Facebook, Kick, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok all at the same time. That's not fair. We didn't say that you can't stream other places. You just can't stream other places at the same time as you stream here. There we go. No idea, but mobile service was allowed. So TikTok without saying TikTok. That's fucking weird. Yo, hey, what's up, Real? How's it going? Can 
Can I? Hmm. You said there you go. Like that just very clearly opened up a pathway that should have been like obvious, but it does not seem to be. This is good. Yeah, real good. Pretty good. Just pre-ordered Janelle Monae's new album. Got a ticket to a signing next week. Congratulations. Sounds very exciting. You can actually stay and watch stream for more than two minutes. I. This will be an interesting one for you to be here on. Do you want me to climb in this? No. You're always playing weird shit. This is normal. I was playing Street Fighter yesterday. That's not weird. Uh, experiment chamber, weekly schedule, Liam, sorry. <laughs> I claimed it every day, all day, forever. What does this button do? That's weird as fuck. For you. That That's weird because it's normal. How dare you. How Street Fighter 6? Really, really good, but also frustrating. Oh, I can't turn it that far? Why the hell not? Uh, really, really good, but also frustrating for a few reasons. This is the way we came in. Am I supposed to shine this one so that I can turn this one? Like, it's a lot of fun. It's a really well-designed game. Super, really, really high-quality work. Like, probably one of the best fighting games that we've gotten in who knows how many years. But... Difficult bosses. Find the book in chapter two. Okay. But one of the issues that I'm having with it is I was never a very big Street Fighter fan because I don't, I didn't like that it was a six button fighter. And, um, so, but one of the things that they introduced with Street Fighter six is modern controls. And modern controls are a way to try to get less experienced and more casual players interested in Street Fighter and fighting games as a whole. And what they do is they remove a lot of the directional input. So like dragon punches, fireballs, you know, stuff like down to forward, forward, down to forward, down to back, uh, back, down to back, stuff like that, right? Uh, 360s, um, etc. And but the problem with it is, is that like, I don't mind directional inputs. I mind having too many fucking buttons <laughs> and they don't really cut down on the number of buttons you have very much, just the number of directional inputs that you have to input to use some of your abilities. And that doesn't solve my problem. <laughs> and I know what the solution would be but I don't want to spend the money to have the solution. So it's really, really fun. I'm enjoying it a lot, uh, but on a very personal level, it's just like a little frustrating because I'm not quite able to play it the way that I want it to. You can think of Street Fighter as a two button fighter for special moves. Yeah, but that doesn't work very well for comboing your normals. Uh, what's primarily out here? A lot of armored, okay. All right, plays units, everybody. All 
All right. What horrible, creepy no-no happens now? Hello? All right, those doors no worky. All right, so we're one hour in. We should have just a little over an hour left of this game. Grocery 24, two clever bar protein bars, one healing water tropical. Mm, you got a like a 9% tax in wherever you are. This looks suspicious. It it does? Hey, it's the things. I don't know what any of that means. Mia, sorry about this, but I changed the code. You need to go home and get some rest. I'll show you the new code tomorrow. Please take care of yourself, Nat. <laughs> ah! Squeeze. It's a good sound. Anyone else want to talk about the weird glowy orange shit that's going on? Or are we just going to ignore that? Am I supposed to do something with this? I mean, maybe, but... Don't know what yet. I'd ignore it. Let it do its thing. That's probably for the best, yeah? Don't think too much about it. Still not convinced. We could do some tests. No, it's way too early for that. She makes these leaps of logic that are fanciful at best. Besides, if we spend my funding on... Oh. Hi, Mia. Don't mind me. Just grabbing something. Uh, I think she heard you. Yeah, that's fine. I'd say the same thing to her face. Damn. Ass. Okay, but like for real, what's with the glowy orange shit? I'm not even worried about these weird demon tentacles now. I just want to know why the room is glowing with orange gas on occasion. Ah, okay. Thanks, game. I, I saw where to put it. Some pretty strong duct work. Oh, this better hold. You could step over that. No? Okay. Lab coats must be worn in this area. Oh, well. I don't got one. Oh, that's a good sign. Yeah, that's great. Dear Dr. Lawrenson, that's us, by the way. It is my pleasure to welcome you to Vesta Labs as a research scientist. As the top microbiology lab in Edengate, Vesta requires exceptional talent to meet our ambitious research goals. I am confident that your skills, education, and relentless focus will prove to be great assets to the team. Sincerely, Liam Bressman, CEO and Chief Scientist of Vesta Labs. Oh, well, that's the douchebag that's been 
getting in our way this whole time, or was getting in our way the, the whole time. That was a good sound. Real comforting. Don't do that. Oh, it's fine. We can crawl underneath it. Don't touch it, Mia. Mia, you bumped it with your head. You're dead. Oh, shit. I'm about to go back out. <laughs> Are we about to go back outside? <laughs> As the... <st> <laughs> As the game saves and everything cries a bit because this game doesn't know how to render that many assets at once. Washing machine brain? Oh, brainwashed, maybe. Well, yeah, I could see it. It's a pretty sick graffiti. I love that. Okay. Hey, Canadiano, how's it going? Huh. The light's not quite strong enough. Oh, it's going, it's going, okay. It's just taking its time. I'm okay, better than yesterday. Well, that's good to hear. Hopefully a lot better than yesterday. Uh, that needs power. That needs power. Power is over there. I can't go back. If I can find them, then throw a picture of my favorite piece of graffiti in Discord. Do it. I had more sleep. Sleep helps. There should be instructions somewhere. Yeah. They on the other side. Close choke, hit ignition, then open. It's easy. Okay. Hello, little ghost demon child. These were set up intentionally. Like, somebody set these up because they knew that they need to be here. Where the fuck is everybody? Somebody had already figured some of this shit out. Oh, cutscene. Hello, child. Do you think we might need to take the ladder? That child's name is Schrodinger, I'm just saying. The Blue Marine General Store, the underground shop, and Williams. Corner shop.
Mia, do you feel like eating yet? Better things are coming. No, they aren't. Yes, they are. Gets grabbed by a hell tentacle and tossed across the street. Yes, I saw where to go, game. Thank you. You're not super intrusive about it. This is good. Yeah. This is... This is great. to free the dumpster. I have to free that dumpy. Sure there's not somewhere to put it over there to find like a secret or something? Hey, there was flies around that trash. That's something that's alive. Traveling somewhere would be great. Get out of this town for a while. Live someplace sunny. I have the residency. Oh, right. The residency. I, I mean, I, I know that's important for you. <sighs> James. No, I get it. You have to focus on your work. I just thought... Maybe you could take a break, you know? James. Why are you here? I don't know. That's the first time we're even hearing about this James feller. The Green Wall Pharmacy. <clears throat> it looks cleaned out. More graffiti. Safe zone. I wish it was. I don't know, Mia. I don't feel like we're really in danger, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay. I can't read graffiti. This is good. Hello, child. Hurt. Damn. If only there was some way to be able to get past these two trash cans. Bummer. Hi. 
Oh, I expected you to leap across to me. Uh, you did not. You just fell. Am I going to have to go in here, power that on to lower it so that I can then raise it up when you probably could have just hopped across? Is that what's about to happen? Close choke, start ox pump, start fuel, wait for light, start ignition, open choke. Everyone got that? Close choke. Wait for fuel. Vision. Open oh, choke. Does she look like a rabbit? I mean, no, but come on. That was like three feet. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're going to make me go back around? Okay, game. Oh, right. I don't even know if that's three feet. Oh, you can climb this? Good job. She could have hopped this easy. Oh. That's good. I'm sure this is fine. Earth is just redecorating. That's all. What does the ghost swing say? Biochemistry? <laughs> I figured, but still. Why is that funny? I mean, that's just... You have to be smart to do that. And here I am with my cameras, like, woo, look at me, I want to make a movie. Meanwhile, you're going to save the world or something. That's cool. Or something. You're a cool person. <laughs> How far can I turn this? What if I turn it the other way? See you moment, Eve. Sometimes you just have to say Mrs. Jenkins' house from the bank. Yeah! Oh. How do I get to that? I don't think I can turn it. Well, maybe I can turn it more. I can. Edengate High School Life Goal Worksheet. What will you do after graduating high school? Take a moment to think about your goals in life. Consider different categories like career achievements, family goals, social life, and financial milestones. When you're ready, list as many goals as you can think of here. College, yes. Career scientist. Achievements, Nobel Prize. Buy a home, probably. James wants to maybe go to college, be a filmmaker, win an Oscar, buy a home, and start a family. Casually. Just casually go and make a movie that wins an Oscar. I'll just I'll just put that on my to-do list, okay? The family part doesn't jive with the filmmaker part. Are you saying you can't be a dedicated filmmaker that makes good enough work to win an Oscar and start a family? Is that an unreasonable 
expectation from from James? Is that what you're trying to insinuate here? Can we squeeze through here? Probably. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. I'm I'm saying nobody wants to date filmmakers. <laughs> I'm saying you're insufferable. <laughs> hmm. Do I need this trash can? Look at all that trash. I'm just saying James makes wishes like a middle school girl. <laughs> Are you all right there, Bottles? Okay, let's we'll leave those alone. <laughs> the Oscar part throws it off. Yeah, just a bit. Sorry, James. You can have wishes to win an Oscar, but... wonder what her deal is. I don't know, but she lived long enough to paint this depicting the horrible demon tentacles. You can have dreams to win an Oscar, but it's just, uh... It's one of those things that happens if it happens. You know, there are plenty of people that they will try to win Oscars and it just, it, it doesn't always happen that way. Hmm. It's like an either or kind of wish. I want to either have a happy, healthy family life or win an Oscar. Hello, Athena. Oh. Am I supposed to put the other one there? I don't know if this is going to fit there. Wait. Get out of there. Mia, other way. Squeeze! Yeah, I knew you had a meeting, Athena. Uh, but thank you for the reminder. Uh, oh. What a lovely room of death. Cute. It's time to watch a flick. Here's the sequence that does the trick. Start up the motors and hear their whine. Get the film loaded. Turn on the shine. Open the shutter or else it's all black. Connect it, get it, connect it together. Time to kick back. Don't forget you. Uh, something. Now I crown you the something. People always spilling their coffee. James and Friends present Cinema Inferno. What makes a movie awesome? Cinema is communication, reviews, and more. Man, he was like this. You know, if that's what James looks like, James looks a lot like the psychic kid that spawned all the demon tentacles. Just saying. Oh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to work this thing. James, where are the instructions at?
Was there anything on the back of this? Did it have a flip option? It did. Talking about dreams is like talking about movies. Since the cinema uses the language of dreams, years can pass in a second and you can hop from one place to another. Start up the motors, load the film, turn on the shine, open the shutter. Okay. Shit. What was it? <laughs> motors, film, shine, shutter, connect. Motors, film, shine, shutter, connect. Motor. Oh, power. Motor. Film. Shine. Shutter. Connect. Da -da -da. <laughs> That's the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Just rolls film, blasts across the fucking speakers of the theater. <laughs> Movie flips off. Hello, child. Wait. This crystallography was better. So much noise in there. I can try to clean it up a little bit. Power's out again. What happened to the backup generator? Playing as the child now. Weird. Okay. I don't know where we are. Thank you. But Liam and Natalie were talking. As Mia, we've seen little ghosts of this kid. This is the first time we've actually seen the kid. And if Liam and Natalie are actually alive, then we're somewhere where people still exist. Hmm. Do it again. Open them. Thank you. part of the city isn't destroyed yet. Mia, did you pass out while watching that movie? Oh my god. Eat a sandwich. Jeez. Damn, James, you make some shitty movies. Okay. <laughs> you made a movie that was so bad that she passed out while standing. That's how fucking bad your movie was, James. Hello, Rim Rams.
<laughs> I think I need his movie. Yeah, I think he's be like, alright, I'm gonna go watch his James. Oh, it's almost time for bed. I'm gonna go start James's movie. A little late, don't you think? Oh, don't worry. I'll pass out wherever I'm watching it from within the first 13 seconds. God damn it. That's how shitty your movie is, James. there yeah so when i turned on obs today obs was like hey do you want to update to the new version of obs and i was like no i really fucking don't want to because when you update obs it breaks shit and it was like well okay that's fine we'll remind you later apparently i'm not going to get much of an option when it comes to this obs update because it's just taking big dumpies big fat ones Dude, either somebody, nope, there's, okay, <laughs> I love how there are two mat, look, look at the size of these cups, they're, they're child size, <laughs> size of a small child, if a child was liquidated and put in a cup, but whoever the individual is that left this here when all of the rest of the theater is clean, you're trash. You sometimes have to suspend your disbelief to enjoy something. I don't like pseudoscience in big budget movies. It's harmful. All right, fine. It sucks. The movie sucked. Happy? Shut the fuck up, James. You're a piece of shit. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if you were still with this dude before you like ended up in a hospital, Mia, but fuck that guy. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is fine. Can I use the jukebox? No. The right way. James Bales, Int CEO's office, an opulent corporate office with dark wood paneling on the walls, gold fixtures, and a commanding view of the city. The CEO is here sitting behind his desk, speaking with an executive. The CEO tosses out a photo of Mia. The camera lingers on this photo. CEO, calm but in charge. This is not... This is not how screenwriting 
is this is not a this this isn't how this is written. But anyway. This is Mia Lawrenson, a brilliant scientist who's on the verge of a breakthrough, a discovery that will cure every known disease. Executive, every known disease. CEO, it sounds so far-fetched, but think about it for a second. Say she succeeds, now there's no more disease. Executive, catching on. <laughs> and nobody needs the drugs we make. CEO, folding his fingers together. Precisely. He stands up, moves to the window, and looks out at the city, his hands folded behind his back. What are we going to do about this, Charles? What? Okay. What's a commanding view? I don't know. Your symbolism game is quite interesting. What if I go this way? What if I go the wrong way? Okay. Oh, fine. You only gave me this way to go. Mia, where the fuck are we going? Guys, what's going on? Kill a virus. A little on the nose. Yeah, it's fine. Hmm, what's this? Find the book in chapter three. I shun the face of man. All sound of joy of complacency was torture to me. Solitude was my only cons consolation. Deep, dark, death-like solitude. Well, no horrible tentacles this way. Random piles of cardboard. Oh. Hey! The kid had a view of that high school. From, like, up there. Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Where did the kid see the high school from? Hang on, I gotta go back up here real quick. It was relatively this same angle. Oh. Well, thank you to Athena's dad. Weird. That spot that the kids saw the high school from does not seem to be here. It's kind of like right where that book was, but not quite. Also, what the hell ate huge chunks out of the pavement? We can't Do go. I really have to go here? Apparently not. The door's blocked. Unless you're going to climb over it. No. Okay. Were you at, were you gonna climb in there? You acted like you were. Okay. Mm, we need a light source to clear the way. Is there a car that's facing that way? No. Hmm. Oh no, I'm not blaming her for not wanting to climb over it. It just means that I'm less certain of what we're doing. Hmm. Okay. Cuz 
so we need a light source to to get the tentacle to move. Do I see a spotlight anywhere? You can't go this way. No. All right. Hmm. Do I see a spot that I can climb? No. I don't suppose you want to squeeze under this little side here. No, okay. I don't blame you. We probably have to get in over here somewhere. Well, I still don't see an interactable. Flashlight? Yeah, I mean, if we had one. Can I get into the cop car? No. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something somewhere. Well, that's obvious. But we haven't actually gotten hung up at any point until just now. Aha. Uh -huh. Can you go in the bus? Uh, we were we climbed in a bus earlier, but we were un unable to climb in that particular bus. Oh, come on. You're really going to be grumpy with the, with the demon tentacle, Mia? Really? Why am I here? That's a great question. That's a nope. Yeah, nope rope. And can anyone tell me what ATP stands for? Adenosine triphosphate. I know you can, Mia. I was hoping someone else in the class would volunteer for once. Now, can anyone except Mia tell me the role that ATP plays in our bodies? <sighs> How dare you be smart? How dare you be interested in science? <gasps> Rude. Excuse me, can I, can I read that? Thanks. Struggling? Over one in four students experience depression or other mental issues. It's okay to reach out for help. Talk to a teacher or guidance counselor today. Eden Gate District Mental Health and Emotional Education Commission. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I guess we'll go this way. The Great Tree of Michiru Kanamatsu. Mia, I think you'll appreciate this. Dr. B. All known forms of life are related to each other, from you and me to animals, plants, fungi, and even bacteria. We can represent the history and relationships of these countless forms of life using the metaphor of a great tree. The Great Tree of Life shows us how all life on Earth shares a common ancestor and invites each of us to consider our place in the natural world. Not as something separate from it, but as a small part of something much greater than ourselves. That's right, I remember. Do you also like time is weird? Because I don't feel like you you're you've been uh, you've been you're a doctor. You have you have like a degree, Mia. Why is this book here? Hmm. It's 
looks like a good direction to go. Well, of course she's going to win. Then why do you sound so unhappy? I suggested she should be making friends, and she said, I don't want friends. Not everyone has a lot of friends. It's okay. It's not okay. It's pathological. Life is all about connection. You know that. Maybe she's connected in a different way. Maybe, maybe. Six six one plus four fifty. What is that? One thousand eleven? No. Eleven oh one. One thousand one hundred and one. Yeah. More than forty two at least. Yeah, that's it. Out of order. Elevator trouble again. Amazing. Oh. Ah, oh, the kids would have guessed that one too. No, yeah, okay. I can't do math. I'm so good at smarts. 101 Dalmatians. Love that movie. She doesn't want the power of friendship. Does she even play RPGs? No, she's a scientist. Also, the elevator was out, so you had to take a ladder? Maybe the stairs were somewhere else, because, like, <laughs> I know a whole lot of teachers that would not be able to take a ladder. I'm just saying. Scientists only play puzzle games. Everyone knows that. Say no to bullying. Physical, verbal, social. Everyone deserves respect. I don't recall this poster having much of an effect. Find the poster in chapter four. Of course, puzzle games, nerds. See, real gets it. They play the TI-84. Good luck on today's test. Thanks. Do I want to know? Yes, the answer is no. Mia. Mia, pay attention. Which, Am I back in school again? Which one? Hmm. Do kids still have to buy $90 calculators that they use for Tetris? They're not $90 anymore, but yes. Which one? Uh, the really high-end graphing calculators you don't need for most normal school anymore. Only if you're taking advanced math classes. Um, Night to Remember. Chess Club. Uh... 
Oh, holy, what the fuck? Guys, game got real weird. Hallway gone. It's just closet now. Music all completely stopped. There is no indication either of which door we should pick. I'm not finding anything around the room of like, this is the one you should pick. you working with your group I can't believe they're making me do this three doors now Mia, you ain't finding this just a little weird? Oh, he won't get anywhere with an attitude like that. Why are you keeping me here? This is a waste of time. yourself again why do they keep talking to me Keep going, Mia. I have no doubt you'll succeed. The only door left is to go back. Okay. And it did give us a different hallway. science fair this evening. We had a lot of very impressive projects this year. Take a few more moments to mill around, look at the projects, 
and ask our young scientists some questions. The awards will start soon. I must be getting close. Close to what, Mia? Oh. Lava tenties are back. That's great. To the meaning of the orange glow. That didn't mean anything. I don't think so either. I think the orange glow is literally just, you can't go this way. See? Like if I'm too close to the tentacles, it just glows orange. Mia, are you having like a weird out of body experience? Are you Schrodinger? Are you neither dead nor alive? And the kid is? is? What is it supposed to do? Not bad. I wonder if it works. I'm I'm amazed they left that in the school. Eh, volcano. Pretty standard school stuff. Is this one yours, Mia? Are those lungs? Mia, where have you been? The judges wanted to ask you some questions. I'm not sure what the point is. You've done all this work, and at the last moment, you lose your nerve? Mia, you started this. Now it's time to finish it. We have viewed all the memories, so there's no more ghost objects to touch. Warning, this machine can turn you into dark matter. Good. That's great. When life gives you lemons, make batteries. Real, real, real. If it isn't Vandishar. Oh, <coughs> Vandishar. Hi, friend. Thank you for that 25 months. Give me those Bezos bucks. We seem to be missing someone. Mia Lawrenson. If Mia Lawrenson is out there, please come to the auditorium. You're missing something very important, Mia. You don't say. Mia, I've been told that you seem upset about something. Whatever it is, now's not the time to act out. Everyone's waiting for you. They're going to be waiting a little longer while we run the stream Raider spell. <laughs> How was Adventure Time? It was really, really good. It was super awesome. We had a fantastic time. All right, OBS. Don't fucking crash, okay? After stream, I'll update you and stuff, you garbage man. Jeez.
I guess I should insult you, OBS, because otherwise then you'll get all grumpy and you'll crash again. Have we heard what the next event is, El Canadiano? I missed the dev stream last week, and I wasn't sure if they were going to do event very soon since they're busy working on uh, versus Gamma. You haven't paid attention? Fair enough. Keep on checking my quest like there's going to be something there, and there's not. Okay, this is probably last. I'm just going to take a guess that this is last. Because uh, this game is fairly short, and I don't intend on filling much time after the game is over. <laughs> and apparently, I'm going to need to go uh, update OBS. <laughs> so, after the game is over and after we finish stream, I'm going to go update OBS for a while. Yes, Vanishar. Uh, I saw it in the car when we were on our way either out to the Adventure Time or on the way back. Very cute puppy. Would play with. Just in fuel duels, but it's eh. What makes it eh, El Canadiano? How do I get up there? Oh, okay, I see. That's unfortunate. They don't have any bones or anything as rewards no right now. This is your moment. I don't want to touch that. It's the grand prize. Hello. I watched those things punch through two metal doors earlier. I refuse to believe that they're not able to open that door because you were holding it closed. Stay safe. Stay safe. That thing's gross. Are you hungry yet, Mia? I'm sad that they didn't even give, like, one bone. I understand that if they gave rewards for the duels, like, people could farm it. But if you just made the rewards really minimal, then people wouldn't be incentivized to farm it. Uh, like, you you would get more out of it if you, you know, played in, a, like, a normal versus or, like, random battles or something like that. But I feel like they like not having any incentive is... The hell is not the play. I'm not expecting there to be anything out here, but I'm just looking anyway. Best burger. I want to go into best burger. Oh, man. The Tide Music Cafe. I want to go into the Tide. I want to go into a music cafe. Instead, I'm going to go down this really creepy staircase. This is fine. Is this supposed to be a subway station? Yeah, okay. Is this just an art installation?
I guess so. Well, one nice thing, though, about if they do get the versus Gamma fully operational for everybody, it might be a little, it, it might be too little too late, but it does open up the ability for people to do their own organized events, right? So, instead of having to always rely on Captain TV to do anything along the lines of, like, an organized tournament with brackets or anything like that, the community could organize it themselves. Like I said, it, it, it might be too little too late for something like that, but the potential and option would exist. The subway's running, huh? That's good. Oh. Outside disappeared real fast. It's the first sign of people we've seen in a while. Oh, you are not... Okay. Mia, that's a bright light. I don't feel like you should go that way. I know I'm the one taking you that direction, but I don't have a choice. I'm sorry, but I don't approve. That's too bad. But I don't need your help. Ever since I first knew I was having her, I had a feeling Mia was going to do something great for the world. You'll see. game what is going on you and me and everyone else we're all made of these little things called cells and all of our cells come from the cells that came before them but that means you came from my cells isn't that funny we even go anywhere? I guess we technically did. I'm guessing the conductor is automated. Mia, are you dying? Is that what this is? Or is this like the sequence of like your life flashing before your eyes? But in a really fucking weird way. The edge of life now boarding. It's the blood tree we saw earlier. Wait, That's great. I still need something from you. He ran into the blood tree. That's great. Don't touch the blood tree. Great. Now we're in fucking limbo. blood tree like arteries and veins no it was a normal looking tree just its leaves were blood red colored
If I go back, do we get that cool silhouette effect back? No. We don't. <laughs> Those look like the fireworks that you light and they expand. Fair, yeah, they do, they do. I've been calling them hell's tentacles, but I'll take I'll take poo fireworks. I feel like I'm supposed to drop down here, but she doesn't want to drop down there, so. Uh, climb up this. Okay. It is kind of cool that her hair still slightly glows. I'm not sure why her hair still slightly glows. Obviously, you could be like, it's an indie game, and they didn't do the lighting that good, but part of my brain is like, no, it glows for a fucking reason, because this game is... It's the radiation. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See, like, that's what I'm talking about. I'm like, this game is just weird enough that I'm like, it could be on purpose. Uh, uh, can I drop down here? I can. Oh, God. Tell you what, I hate this. You can, but do you want to? I don't got much of a choice. I don't know where we are anymore. We entered the blood tree, and now we're about to take the last train to freaking heaven. I don't know, Mia. I'm afraid. Yeah, wake up. Thank you. Dedicated to those we've lost. And all who are still recovering. Good work, nobody listens to me in video games. It's some bullshit. <laughs> Why does Sonic collect rings? He just does. Same for all the glows. All right. Goes through that whole ordeal to not drown. Gets hit by a bus immediately when you go to cross the road. was neat. Eden Gate 2? There isn't an Eden Gate 2. There doesn't need to be.
Developed during the global pandemic, Eden Gate The Edge of Life is an interactive experience reflecting on feelings of uncertainty, isolation, longing, and hope. Yeah, that was cool. I remember when we reacted to this and we just didn't know very well what it was. And I don't even feel like up until you get to the end of the game, you really know what it is. Because the, the concept of the game ultimately is simple, right? You're, you're playing as Mia and Mia is at the edge of life. She is about to die because presumably she has, I don't know, gotten in a car accident and fallen in, into a river or a lake or something like that. And she is on the verge of death. You definitely don't know what the glow is. You were right. Was it good though? I would say yeah, that was cool. It's definitely something that like, you can only experience it once. It's one of those kind of games because playing it again, one, there is no real, it is definitely an experience more than a video game. Like it's interactive, but there is no, there is no danger. There is no chance of failure. There is no surprises. There's no secrets. I mean, I guess technically there were four secrets. There was four items that you could have missed, um, but they didn't have any extra meaning or any unlocks or anything like that. Uh, so it's definitely a, a one and done. Um, but I, 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 the only complaint I have is that the game kind of ran like crap at a couple of times. But it's like super mega indie. And it looks, it actually looks really good for being as indie as it is. If you notice, there was all of six names that went by on that credits list just now. So... Yeah, uh, I definitely enjoyed it. That was really cool. And it loaded too quickly again. Oh, it put me at the uh, main menu. It put me at the end of the game. Gallery. Whoa, it loads a gallery. That's neat. Does it re-show you the memories? It does. Sorry, Mia, but you should have known better. Pushing yourself too hard, not listening to anyone. If you hadn't acted like you were smarter than everyone else. Clear the way, come on. And it's just all of the items that all the interactables through the whole game. Yeah, that's what it seems to be. It's almost like a testing zone. I wonder if we, like I checked pretty thoroughly, but I wonder if we had missed something, if there would be an empty slot. Nice, even the graffiti walls are here. Because, like, I could have seen there to, like, if we hadn't clicked on this one, if there was an empty slot there. Because then, then you'd be like, well, what the fuck did I miss? Like, there might actually be an empty slot right here. Short game, though. Very. Two hours. Like, we started stream technically two and a half hours ago. And we've crashed twice and ran stream raiders and talked and stuff. So, like, you could, oh, we did miss one. There we go. See, it's locked. So you could probably get through it even faster if you, we missed a couple. If you didn't, if you didn't lollygag. Guessing not very pricey though. I'm not sure. Oh, we missed another piece of, uh, what's this? Is it just the end? Oh, exit the gallery. Okay. Get off my screen, bug. I don't need to see this again.
there were six chapters. That means we probably missed some of the collectibles. That's fine. It's six ninety nine. I knew it was really cheap. Yeah, we missed two collectibles. What did we miss? Inspect all the graffiti and inspect all the items. Yeah. So we missed just a couple of things. But yeah, uh, f especially for seven dollars, that was that was just a neat experience. It was really cool, and the way like. What are you doing, Arm? Why are you like this all of a sudden? Why have you Why have you just started to be like, mm. what's your problem? I don't have a... I don't think there's a way to tighten this arm either. Anyway. Yeah. That was neato. Neato. I need to go, we're, since we have a couple minutes, I need to go back and we're going to go to studio, go to the YouTube studio. We're going to go to Eden Gate. Because this video, because we reacted to the trailer for this a while back. And it actually did relatively well. It got over a thousand views since it was published. One thousand two hundred and fifteen views. That's that's pretty good for my channel. There, I remember seeing some comments on it too. They could have showed more trailer and screenshots. Piqued my interest, so I'm downloading it right now. Just download it on PlayStation 5, even though there's only a PlayStation 4 version. For the first version, for their first game, it's okay. I've played about two hours of it and got out of the hospital into the lab. Puzzles are straightforward, not too difficult. There's no shooting or enemies, so if you like shooting games, don't bother. Controls is mainly walking around and pressing buttons when points of interest come up, and it slowly reveals the story as you go. If you're looking at a quiet, gentle, casual game and the mystery slowly explains as you go, then for a fiver on the PlayStation Store, it's no money. There's no graphics mode to choose, but the graphics are okay. As you walk on shiny tiled floors, you get reflections, etc. I'm not expecting the game to be a long haul. It just comes in over 7 gigabytes in size. You know, this person said I don't know the full story yet as I just finished two hours of gameplay. They they were so close to the end. It takes about three to four hours to finish. Okay. Reviewers will not even touch the game. It's being pulled. Never seen a game flop so fast. I, I responded to this. I don't think hardly anyone knew about this game. Drive safe. Yo, when you're done, you should raid my homegirl. Timing happened to collide for once. Where are we going? We're going to be done in like five minutes. I mean, if we have placements, we might be able to just run the battle early and go now. El Canadiano, are you not running Steve anymore? I noticed Steve is not in here. Nah, event's over. Ah, okay. Twitch. Just the best. Oh yeah, they just started. They playing some Yakuza. Some Yakuza. Yakuza. Speaking of Yakuza, didn't RGG announce that they were going to have an announcement something soon? RGG announces first ever anime expo panel featuring Yakuza Like a Dragon focus. Ah, here it is. The Summer Showcase. Get ready for the RGG Summit 2023, June 15th at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. The 15th, so that's next Thursday. There is going to be a showcase from the studio that makes Yakuza and Like a Dragon. Ryu Ga uh, Gotoku. Which literally just means Like a Dragon. Like their studio is Like a Dragon Studio. 
So yeah, next week there is essentially a RGG Direct. Which I assume will be a probably a trailer for Like a Dragon 8. Um, we will also probably get a trailer for what's what what's the name? The, yeah, this one. Like a like like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. I imagine we'll probably get a trailer for that one as well. Uh, and like Real said, with a with a release date. I would expect us to. Um I'm not sure what else they would announce besides those. Mm. Let's see. They did the work for Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown. Really? That's crazy. I didn't know that. Huh. I wonder if they maybe got hired to do Virtua Fighter 6. Virtua Fighter doesn't have work done. I mean, Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown was a big deal when it released. Like, it's a really good way to play Virtua Fighter. Man, could you imagine if they announced Virtua Fighter 6? Because we just got freaking Street Fighter 6 in September is when we get Mortal Kombat 1. We also have Tekken 8 on the horizon. We have Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising on the horizon. We have the new Dragon Ball game that's coming soon. People are expecting Arc System Works to announce a, a Dragon Ball Fighters 2 to come out soon. Every single Virtual Fighter has the exact same broken AI with new skins. You mean like if you were like the arcade mode where it reads your inputs? Okay, so really the potential options from the RGG Summit are Like a Dragon 8, Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name, maybe something in the Judgment series? I don't know if Lost Judgment ended in a way to where there's room for a third game at the end of that. But I know that Like a Dragon now, outside of their remasters, are going to be turn-based. Like, Like a Dragon 8 is going to be a turn-based game. Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name, is technically a remaster that is bringing a, a game that wasn't localized to the, the localized world. And then the Judgment series is carrying on the gameplay that... Yakuza used to have with like the city brawler type stuff. Gaiden is a new game, is it? Okay. Hold down or back and mash kick and you beat every single Virtua Fighter. Yeah, but people also play against each other in Virtua Fighter, not just the AI. <laughs> Ishin was the import? Okay. I thought they were both imports, but uh, thank you for correcting me. And then they will also have a panel at Anime Expo, but that's not until July. And I'm betting that there there might be a trailer for something at this, but given that it's at Anime Expo, it might be a Yakuza anime or just talking about um, the work that they do on Like a Dragon and stuff like that. So I have 19 notifications. Ugh. <laughs> I know what they are, and I hate it. Okay, so next week we can look forward to probably some new Like a Dragon information. Whew. You paid Elorn Morsk for the notifications? I mean, you're not wrong. I need to put out another tweet about that, too, because I just hit two months with Twitter Blue, so I'll, I have some more thoughts to share on my 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 wasted dollars all right we'll run this last battle we will go raid just the best and then i'll freaking update all this crap hello rio
I like that as we're getting ready to end stream, we have the ending music for Bayonetta going on. That's that that's that's high key shit right there. I know a few people who have turned blue. I I mine is mostly for experiment purposes. And I'm learning some things about Twitter as a whole from it. Um, but in general sense, it's not fucking worth it at all. <laughs> like, it's not worth it in the slightest. This is going to suck because they all went to the blue crystal. And I'm pretty sure water's strong against earth. But maybe we can kill them fast enough because they're real distracted by that tank over there. Yeah. Good job, whoever's tank that is. Owl Mage, you the best. Okay. So, one, shout out Jess the Best. That's where we're going. Uh, this is the raid message. If you're not a subscriber, you can unlock this raid swan for 100 channel points. And it'll be available to you for the next 24 hours, including on other people's channels. So, you can use it on the raid, which is pretty cool. Um, we will be live again on Thursday. Don't know what we're doing yet, but we'll be live again on Thursday. Oh, I know one of the things we're doing on Thursday. Uh, Summer Games Fest is on Thursday. So we'll be live earlier in the day for however long Summer Games Fest is. And then otherwise, we will be... We might stream later in the day for just something else. We'll be here... We should be here on Friday for Power Couple. We should be here on Friday for Power Couple. Yeah, I, ha I have no actual intentions of quitting anytime soon, El Canadiano, but I, I, am, I am slightly happy that people uh, were invested on whether I was quitting to or not. Tomorrow ago, I can't say for sure, uh, Vandishar, but I believe it is. There shouldn't be anything that interrupts uh, Wind Down Wednesday. The thing that Vandishar is talking about is my incredible partner in life streams on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesday, um, they do Wind Down Wednesday and sing us beautiful songs. And on Saturday, we do scary games together. Saturday is probably a no-go. But Wednesday is probably a go. Okay. So anyway, let's roll these credits. I didn't open Mix It Up. There is no credits, so never mind. Thank you for the resub, Vandishar. Do appreciate you a lot. I keep forgetting to open Mix It Up. Anyway, yeah, I will see you all on Thursday. Peace out, everybody. Good night, Vanshar. Good night, Real. Good night, El Canadiano. Good night, Rio.